सो नो लेवल इक्विनिब्रियम गैप इज गिवेन बाय रिचर्ड आर नेंसन ओके ही हैज रिटन अ पेपर इन 1956 वेयर ही इज टॉक अबाउट नो लेवल इक्विनिब्रियम गैप ओके एंड हिज थ्योरी ऑफ नो लेवल इक्विनिब्रियम गैप इज बेस्ड ऑन मार्थिजियन थ्योरी ऑफ पॉपुलेशन ओके सो इन द मार्थिजियन थ्योरी ऑफ पॉपुलेशन ओके when per capita income increases above subsistence level okay there is a subsistence requirement okay that is the basic minimum requirement for people to survive if my per capita income increases above okay subsistence level is spending right to property subsistence level okay what it will do it will increase population rapidly okay what i am saying when your per capita income increases our subsistence level okay it will increase population rapidly okay and this increase in population okay what it been do it been eat up okay whatever increase in per capita income is taking place so economy will be stuck as subsistence level okay economy will be stuck as subsistence level okay this is what he is saying no level equilibrium here that under developed country okay have no level equilibrium here because there is a stationary state that this country have reach okay why they have used the stationary state because they have stuck to a subsistence requirement okay and this subsistence requirement okay that they have is giving them a stable equilibrium this equilibrium is stable So whenever per capita income increases above this subsistence level, okay, or subsistence requirement, what happened? Population growth outpaces your increase in per capita income. Okay, then again you move back to subsistence level or subsistence requirement or no level equilibrium gap. Okay, now since I have talked that this theory is based on Malthusian theory of population, okay, so when your per capita increases per capita income increases above subsistence level or subsistence requirement okay it been induce increase in population growth rapidly okay but this population growth has physical limit okay after reaching upper physical limit physical limit okay Population growth will be stable. Okay, when per capita income increasing, population growth will increase rapidly first. Okay, then it will hit its upper physical limit. Then population growth will be stable with increasing per capita income. Okay, after that what will happen? Your population growth will decline. Okay, why population growth will decline? Because people become conscious about their standard of living. people want a small size of the family they want to follow the small size of the family norms okay so after that we will see that at high per capita income level okay population growth is start to decline okay now given this backdrop okay that in an underdeveloped country they have no level equilibrium gap okay why because if per capita income increases above subsistence level population growth will increase rapidly if we eat up your increase in per capita income and again you go back to this non level of income or subsistence requirement okay so economy will not grow okay according to him okay income is no i like no for n okay income is no so this country have no saving and investment okay since this country have no saving and investment so what we can see growth is also no growth is also no and since this country are caught in non even equilibrium trap okay how can they come out of this non even equilibrium trap only when your growth in per capita income okay or pace your growth in population then only this country can come out of this non even equilibrium trap i am repeating again one more time why this country have non even equilibrium trap okay If per capita income exceed your subsistence requirement, 
it will increase population growth okay and when this population growth happen okay it will push down your per capita income again to subsistable okay that means that the economy is called to non ever equilibrium chart of subsistence requirement okay this chart happen due to five reason according to nansen there are five reason for that first he talk about the there is high coordination between per capita income and population growth okay there is high coordination ship between per capita income and population growth when your population uh, per capita income increases okay population will increase rapidly it will reach a physical limit it will stay there with increasing per capita income after that it will decline with increasing per capita income okay so there is a high coordination ship between per capita income and population growth okay so when you have no per capita income okay your propensity to save and invest will be no okay so when there is a additional increase in per capita income out of this additional increase in per capita income you will be having no propensity to save and invest okay because income is no okay you are at subsistence level if income is getting higher than subsistence level okay if your per capita income is getting higher than this subsistence requirement population growth will increase faster and it will wipe out this increase in per capita income again you go back to subsistence level okay so when you have no per capita income you will eat up your own income okay third we talk about that in the manthusian theory okay and this uh agriculture sector the food production agriculture the land that we are using has diminishing return okay and when we are adding new land okay each land is adding next to output okay there is a scarcity of land also because supply of land for the economy is fixed that part we have done so there is a scarcity of cultivated land of uncultivated land okay so there is a scarcity of land also okay then this under developed country had inefficient production technique and there is inertia okay inertia in the sense you in the social and economic dimension you will not see much changes okay so in this under developed country there is a social and economic inertia you will not see much changes in the social and economic aspect okay so on this high factor okay creating trap in an underdeveloped economy okay so nansen has used three equation in order to discuss this trap non equilibrium trap first i will talk about this three equation then i will show with graph okay this three equation part the first equation that he has talked about nansen uses three equation to discuss about trap So first, income determination equation. Okay. So let me write in equation. Okay. Here not use the equation. I am just writing it for my simplicity. Okay. So your income depend on capital stock. Okay. And this capital stock include arable land. Okay. That is used for production process. Okay. The cultivated land that is used for production process. Okay. What I am saying. you income depend on capital stock and this capital stock include arable or cultivated land used for production process then population also population i denote by n here and given technology okay so production or sorry income is determined by three factor one is your capital stock so higher the capital stock higher will be the income it has it is positively related with your capital stock and this include Cultivated land used in the production process, then population higher the population lower will be the income. Okay, so it is negatively related with your population technique. Okay, given the technique, if there is improvement in technology, it will be higher output. So it is positively related with your technique. Okay, second is about capital formation equation. It's very hard to write in this board. 
space is not that, that. okay capital formation equation okay so capital formation net investment okay so net investment is what capital that you are creating out of saving okay so capital created out of saving plus addition to continuous asset net okay so i am bringing some more net for contribution okay so second equation is about capital formation equation okay here net investment is what capital that is created out of saving okay second is addition to your amount of contributed net okay can everyone now third one population growth equation don't worry this screen will be clear when i will draw the graph it will be clear okay so population right in front okay population growth equation okay here we need if you know already that we have discussed okay here we need your population growth with per capita income we need population growth with per capita income okay here you need to understand okay argument okay for no per capita income okay when you have no per capita income okay it will bring short term or temporary changes in population growth short term or temporary changes in population growth what suppose your per capita income is a subsisting level okay it can fall below subsisting level it can go little bit above subsisting level subsisting level is the minimum requirement for you to survive okay so when your per capita income is very low okay it will bring short term changes in population growth why due to change in debt rate okay and why you have change in debt rate what is the cause for that it is changing your per capita income okay let me repeat the argument when you have no level of per capita income as subsisting requirement okay if it go below that debt rate will increase it will go above that debt rate will decrease okay because population growth will be higher people will be having more than subsisting requirement okay so when you have no per capita income okay it will bring temporary change in your population growth okay why you will be having temporary or short term change in population growth due to change in debt rate and why this debt rate is changing it is caused by change in per capita income this part is clear yes no okay now once your per capita income exceeds subsistence level okay then per capita income has no effect on debt rate okay per capita income has no effect on debt rate i think second argument will make first argument more clear if income is above subsisting level okay i cannot associate debt rate with per capita income can everyone if i am getting more than my requirement of survival okay if some debt is happening i cannot associate with per capita income in everyone okay now with this three set of relationship that we have developed okay we can see why a country a uh, underdeveloped country is trapped in non even equilibrium trap okay so we have this three uh, equation okay we are going to use this one First, see the uh, graph that I am drawing. Net only can draw it. Okay. It is simple. Okay, don't worry. It will be simple. Graph and technique will be simple. Don't worry. So here I am taking per capita income on the horizontal axis. Per capita income, you know, output divided by population. Okay. Here you are taking growth in rate of growth or growth in population. 
Okay. Here we are taking a per capita investment. Per capita investment by definition is what? Change in capital and stock. Okay. Change in capital and stock per capita means divided by population. Okay. So this is per capita investment. Okay. You can write delta K by P. Okay. Here I am taking growth in population what I have taken here. And growth in output. Not per capita income. I am taking here growth in output. Per capita income I have taken this side. Okay. Neveling is clear. Yes, no. Okay. Suppose this is the subsistence requirement. Okay. Here I am taking per capita income. So this is no per capita income. Subsistence requirement. Okay. If my per capita income is below this, population will be negative. Okay, some negative amount. If this is zero, you know this will be negative. Okay. So I start from here. Let me write this one outside, then it will be better. Let me write uh, PK by P. Okay. The part that you will not understand is talking. Okay. Understanding graph is more important. So what I am saying, this is the subsistence requirement. If my per capita income or income is per capita income is below this subsistence level, okay, population growth will be negative. So I start with negative. Okay, this is the subsistence level. When my per capita income increases above subsistence level, population will grow rapidly. Per capita income is increasing, this is growing rapidly. So now this is steeper. Okay, my per capita income is increasing, population is growing rapidly. It will reach or hit upper physical limit. Okay. After that, whenever per capita income is growing, it will remain stable for a longer period of time. Okay. After that, after a certain period, population growth is start to decline at high level of per capita income. This is high level of per capita income because people understand that they need to maintain a standard of living. Okay. They become conscious. Okay. They want to maintain high standard of living. They want to have a small family as a norms. Then population growth decline. DPYP, let me write here. This graph is clear to everyone? Yes, no. Okay. This is upper physical limit, it hit, then it is stayed here. Okay. Now, here, what you are earning, you are consuming. You are subsistence requirement. Saving is zero. At this point, saving is zero. Okay. We will start from below because we know this per capita income. Okay, what I am using? I am using my past capital because I want to survive. So we know this. My consumption will be more than income. Okay, I start like this. Okay, and after this, per capita income increases. Okay, you start to save. Here saving is zero. When you start to save, okay, per capita investment will be increasing. This is DK by P per capita investment. Okay. After subsisting level, what will happen? People will start to save. So your investment is positive per capita investment. This is clear? Yes, no. Okay. Now, let me uh, draw this graph here again okay? because I have taken later growth of uh, population here also. Okay. So draw the same graph. Okay. So if here it subsistence level, so it go like this. Here it is the okay. I'm drawing this graph here. So that is why I have drawn this too. And this one also you can draw it. So you don't make mistake in the examination. Then it will remain stable, growth in population. After this point, okay, it decline. Okay. Now I am taking growth in output. What is growth in output? It is a difference between growth in per capita income and growth in population. Everyone agree? Okay. Look here. Here, population growth is greater than growth in per capita income. Okay. So this is my growth in output. Growth in output will be lower. Okay. When it reaches physical limit. Okay. Population is growing. Output uh, per capita income is also growing. After a point, your output growth will exceed population growth. Okay. 
Then after some time, it will start declining and it will go like this. So this is growth in the output. Okay. Here yeah, population growth is at rapid rate, then increasing of per capita income. So output growth will be less. If you remember the equation, let me write the equation. Growth in output is what? Growth in per capita income minus growth in population. Okay. Population is growing faster than per capita income. Then growth in output will be less than population growth. Yes, no. Okay, it will be less than this. Okay. Now, this, okay, let me discuss anything with here also. Okay, then I'm coming to here. Okay. Look at this one. Okay. This is the subsistence requirement. What is the population growth here? Zero. At this subsistence requirement, population growth is zero. Why? When your income increases a little bit, or oh, sorry, when your per capita income increases a little bit, there will be rapid increase in population. Okay? That will eat up this population growth and again you will come back to here. Subsistence requirement. Okay? So this is a stationary state. Okay? Why it is a stationary state? Because population is neither increasing nor falling. Okay? It is stationary at this subsistence requirement. Population growth is zero. At this per capita income. Okay, if your income increase a little bit, what will happen? Population will increase rapidly. When your income form below this subsistence level, then there will be change in date rate. Population will form. Okay, if per capita income form below this subsistence date, okay, date will increase. Okay, that rate will increase. That is why we are saying that. Okay, when per capita income is low, okay, it will what it will do? It will change growth in population by changing date rate. And why data is changing? Due to changing per capita income. Can you everyone? That is why this state is called stationary state. At a stationary state, population growth is zero. Okay? Now, look at this one. This point I am looking at. This point I am looking at. And this point. Okay? So I have this point here. One per capita income is here, the subsistence requirement. Second, I have here, you can label y by p1, this you can label y by p0 or subsistence, and this you can label as y by p2. Okay, so if I increase the per capita income above y by p0, what will happen? Population growth will eat up the increase in per capita income. Everyone agree? Population growth, this blue line is higher than your output growth. Yes or no? Then again you will move back to here. Okay. You will move back to here. Okay. Whenever you are moving, okay, you are increasing per capita income by taking any policy. Okay. Population growth will be higher than increasing per capita income. Okay. Or increasing your output, whatever you want to say, increasing your output. Okay, because we have taken the output growth. So population growth will be higher than increase in your output. Whenever I am increasing per capita income, okay, population growth will outpace your growth in output. So again, you will be back to subsistence level. Okay. So this equilibrium is a stable equilibrium. Because economy if we deviate from here, it is coming back here. Okay. So this one is a stable equilibrium. Now look at this point. This point is per capita income level y by p1 is stable the answer is no you come here again you will move back to that place okay because there is when population growth is same as growth in your national income okay so what happened if there is little bit disturbance you are going back to subsistence requirement okay if you are able to increase your per capita income level above this level y by p1 say here <coughs> okay if I am able to increase my per capita income above y by p1, okay, then economy will automatically reach to higher per capita income level or higher standard of living. Okay. If we, I am able to increase per capita income above this level y by p1, say here, okay, 
economy we move to high level of income automatically but for what we required we required jump okay we required discontinuous jump or you can say effort okay effort in the terms of large dosage of investment a comprehensive investment plan okay but in under the country who will take this investment plan they have no saving in investment okay then what nelson is saying is that government has to take initiative okay government has to take sony investment it has to attract foreign capital okay take loan from say international institution okay uh, uh, or from other government foreign government also government can do one thing they can redistribute the income within the economy because in another developed country there is a skewed distribution of income so we can redistribute the income okay apart from that he is saying that we need to change the socio economic or political condition in the economy okay that will induce foreign capital to come within the country okay so by doing that okay what it will do it will make a jump okay apart from that he is saying that uh, what we have to do more we can uh, take policy that control the population okay let me repeat what i am saying so here at this point this point is unstable okay why this point is unstable because you come to this in kind of one yyp one okay economy again go back to this subsistence requirement so i required a discontinuous jump or effort okay but in the developed country you have no saving no investment so you required nas comprehensive investment who is going to take it there must be government initiative okay government initiative in terms of sony investment okay government must be taking some policy to attract foreign capital at the same time some policy within the economy okay to limit population growth okay at the same time redistribute the income such that socio economic condition within the country improve okay apart from that within the economy government has to encourage entrepreneurial scheme okay provide incentive so that a modern technology can be adopted so on that effort should be taken by the government okay then only we can make jump this continuous jump okay once we are able to make jump okay we don't require government role after this jump after this after we make a jump over y by p1 say here okay economy will automatically move to high income level okay so we require government loan in order to make this this continuous jump once we make the jump economy will automatically reach higher income level and after this what will happen your population growth is declining output is also declining okay that means you are again moving to this equilibrium Okay. This is stable when you are moving here. Remember this equation when I am saying this: output growth is less than population growth. Okay, so if per capita income declining, you are moving to this equilibrium. So this equilibrium is stable. And why population growth is declining at high level of per capita income? Okay, people become conscious about standard of living. They understand the norms that we need to have a small family. Okay, we need to enjoy our life, have better standard of living. So population growth is declining. this is what you have in the non even equilibrium chart the criticism okay about this theory okay there are not much criticism may need to make criticism first criticism is related to functional relationship between rate of growth of population and per capita income okay here what they have done they have looked at a very busy relationship between rate of growth of population and per capita income okay but if you look at a under developed country okay the reason that population is growing is the declining debt because there is a lot of um, medical facility has improved over time okay lot of medicine i have given at a cheaper cost okay lot of the epidemic that we have okay we have uh, now had breakthrough scientific breakthrough that the debt rate in the developing country has come down okay second when nelson is talking about that we need to have high growth in per capita income okay to break the barrier of population growth then money we can reach this high level of per capita income but what is the timeline okay length of time okay is not provided okay how many year 5 year 10 year 20 year how many year we have to wait okay so these are the two criticism that we have here the concluding part okay okay if rate of growth of output is greater than rate of growth of population okay this is rate of growth of output is get the rate of growth of population then only economy can come out of this non even equilibrium chart okay 
Okay. If you are increasing your per capita income, okay, that means if you are increasing your output and population growth is outpacing your increase in uh, say output, what will happen? You are again going back to subsistence level. Okay. So if you are able to increase your rate of growth of output above rate of growth of population, this is population blue line. Okay. So what will happen? You can come out of this non-level equilibrium state. Okay. Once you are able to do that, okay. The economy move to a higher per capita income without the role of government or without government support. Okay, this is what mentioned. Okay, so I stop here.